you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to answer the question on your own before listening on. We can begin by drawing a simple picture showing the charges Q1 and Q2. So here are those two charges that are separated by 35 centimeters, and in part A we are asked to calculate the electric potential at a point that's midway between them. So why don't we just put a little dot here to indicate the point that we're interested in, and we know that the electric potential produced by point charges is equal to a constant multiplied by the charge divided by a distance. Now, since we have two point charges, we're going to make this calculation two times. And so we can say that the total potential is going to equal the potential produced by charge one plus the potential produced by charge two. For V1, we can substitute in K and multiply it by the charge, which is symbolized by capital Q1, and then divide by the distance from that charge to this point right here. And then for V2, a similar exercise. We'll have the constant multiplied by the charge Q2 divided by the distance. Now, we'll notice that the distance is the same because the positive charge is located at the same distance away from the point as is the negative charge. Note also that that distance is 17 and a half centimeters. It's simply half of this value right here. And since the distance is the same, we can actually factor out a K as well as the R. So when we do that, we would have K over R multiplied by Q1 plus Q2. Now we can go ahead and plug in all the known values. We know K is a constant, R is that distance, and then the charges are given in the question. Just note that we'll have to change those charges into coulombs by multiplying by 10 to the minus 9. So here we've plugged in the two charges. Again, we converted to coulombs by multiplying by 10 to the minus 9. Notice we also changed the centimeters into meters by multiplying it by 10 to the minus 2. And when we crunch that down on our calculators, we should get approximately 103 volts. So this would be the correct answer for the total potential at this point right here. Now on to part B, which asks for the potential energy of the pair of charges. More specifically, that's going to be the electrical potential energy. And we know that the electrical potential energy between two point charges is simply K multiplied by the first charge multiplied by the second charge divided by the distance between them. So in this case, for the distance, we're going to use the full 35 centimeters. Again, we'll convert that into meters. And so we can just plug in K and the two charges and that distance. And when we crunch that down, we should get roughly negative 3.85 times 10 to the minus 7, and then the standard unit of energy is the joule. So this is the correct answer to part B. Finally, the question asks, what is the significance of the algebraic sign of your answer? Notice the algebraic sign of our answer was a negative sign, and the fact that it's negative means that positive work must be done in order to separate the charges. That should make sense because we have a positive charge situated near a negative charge. We know that because they are oppositely charged, they're going to attract one another. So if we wanted to separate them, we would have to input positive work in order to do so, in order to separate them. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up icon and subscribe. Remember that you can send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.